Okay, so now they're in a prison cell. Um, I don't know if there'll be a cutscene for that. Um, Daniel says, well, look at what you've gotten us into now. Lucin says, it's as much your fault as it is mine, Daniel. Daniel says, it's your fault that you're too weak to fight. Lucin says, why are you yelling at me, Daniel? It's neither your fault nor mine. We took a risk and we paid the price. I say it's both our faults. I'm going to leave out the character says thing for now. I'm just going to read it. Pause. It's Gaia's fault. Gaia is basically, you know, they're, they worship like the nature deity. So that's basically what Gaia is. Daniel, don't you remember all the things your mom taught us about Gaia? She is the essence of love and isn't responsible for our problems. She isn't the one who killed your mother and she isn't the one who made us poor. It is simply how we came into the world. Gaia has cursed us with misfortune. When we try to seek a better life, she places us in this prison. Why? Because we went against Gaia's will? Why should she desire that we be poor orphans, almost starving, alone in a small house by the ocean? People use Gaia as an explanation for all the chance events that happen in this world so that they feel that someone is in control and guiding them. Either Gaia hates us or there is no such thing as Gaia and we simply live in a world ruled by chance and luck. Daniel, have you ever thought that perhaps being in this prison was Gaia's will from the beginning, and our poverty was simply Gaia's way of getting us here? I will still wait to see what she may have in store for us. By the way, I swear I'm agnostic. That just kind of came out of me. I, I like to delve into lots of different philosophical beliefs, ranging from you know theism to atheism to existentialism in my writing, and this is my writing, so. Anyways, guard comes in. The king wishes to speak with you now. Look at that, they're walking backwards. <laughs> okay. Hello, boys, my name is Leon, and I am the king of this fine nation of Erel. Look at that fine artwork for the king there. I hear you boys managed to sneak into the southern gem mines. You somehow eluded the guard stationed there, snuck down to the main mining area, and almost escaped with a small fortune before anyone had the chance to raise an alarm. I need to go over this and rewrite some of the script, so I, I'll change stuff as I see it, but it's, you know, managed to sneak, managed to elude. Uh, anyways, my own personal critique of my writing. You were found with approximately 10,000 symbols worth of rare stones in your possession. How you not only outran my guards, but also injured many of them is beyond me, and at best a trivial matter. What interests me most is that, after all of that, we found your nearly dead bodies lying by the mine entrance. I must know who or what exactly stopped you from being the first people to successfully steal from the Nobel mines. Then, you know, dot dot dot. It was a man dressed entirely in black. He stole a black stone from us and tried to kill us. Then, well, he just disappeared. I think he was trying to use the stone in some way, and he vanished like he was never even there. A man in black, you say? Hmm. And what if I say I don't believe you? We eluded and held our own against your guards. What's keeping us from killing you? Lucent kind of does the, the angry face. King says, Ha ha, I like your attitude, kid. It's what's kept you alive all these years, I'm sure. I think the answer to that question is that you are horrendously outnumbered, and you know that this time you won't be able to escape. I must believe that you are telling the truth about this man in black. After all, someone had to have left you for dead like that, and I know it wasn't my guards. If this is the case, and someone is after my minds, this is a strange occurrence a strange occurrence indeed. There must be something in there that someone very powerful wants very much. Did he take anything but the stone? No, I think it was only the stone that he wanted, nothing else. Then this could mean only one thing. Someone is trying to collect the essences. I fear what could happen if he collects many of them. Pause. You say he vanished, though. Do you think he might be dead? He had a look of pain on his face as though he were dying. I think the stone probably just dissolved him out of existence. I don't think it's as simple as that. What are the essences? They are very old artifacts, with a great deal of power. But you need not concern yourself with such things as at the moment. I have decided that I shall spare your lives. On one condition. I'll give you a letter in an envelope. It must reach the King of Helena as soon as you can get there. I will assign one of my soldiers, Richard, I swear to God Richard the Lionhearted, not me, to protect you on your journey. I suspect it will take you several days to reach Helena City. Richard knows this continent quite well, so he shall lead the way. Do you have any questions before I dismiss you? Well, we got knocked out in the mines, and the next thing I know we're in a damp, smelly jail cell. Where are we exactly? You're in Arel, capital city of the nation of Arel. 
it used to be something different and I changed it because the old name was stupid. Um, but here there'd be a cutscene where it like zooms out of the castle and you get to see the kingdom, kind of like Final Fantasy IX style. Okay, so then they're outside. I might have something in the middle. Then we introduce Richard here. Again, not me. Richard the Lionhearted. Um, anyways, do you realize how lucky you are that you survived? I thought that anyone who tried to steal from the mines would either die by the guards or die by the king. I guess the old guy is still a softy even after all these years. And you would have done differently? I would have had you executed. If we didn't need you, I'd kill you here and now. When we're done this mission... I'm sorry, my friend. We haven't even introduced ourselves yet. How rude of us. My name is Lucen, and this is Daniel. Daniel's mother raised us in the woods of southern Helena. She passed away a few years ago, and we've lived alone there ever since. You're from Helena? No wonder you're such scum. Now, you might notice Lucen is standing in two places at the same time. I don't know what's going on with that. It, he's got a doppelganger. It's... I don't know. Daniel leaps toward the soldier, both ready for a fight. Stop it. We have a mission to perform together, and starting our journey hating each other won't get us anywhere. Maybe we'll get along better if we got get to know you, and you get to know us. Well, it will be hard, but I guess I can get along with a few Hellenians for once. My name is Richard, and I've been in the service of King Leon since I was a child. What's your story, Lucent? Not that I'm really interested. I don't remember much. I just remember always being out in the woods with Daniel. I'm not sure about anything before that. Oh? Well, maybe on this journey we'll... Yes? Never mind. Let's just go. First, we should get some supplies. This is going to be a long journey. I'll give you this map of the continent and show you where we're going. We are here, in Arel. First, we have to pass through the Great Desert. Then, we have to proceed across the Wild Plain, a mostly barren area home only to the dwarves who lived in the, live in the underground city of Patheth. Patheth is linked by a series of underground caves with Terana, a dwarven city on the western side of the continent. From there, it is supposedly only a brief trip north through the forest to get to Helena City, where we will meet with King Nebuchadnezzar of Helena. We will present the letter to him, at which time he will give us a response to bring back here to King Leon. We have to go through back through all of that? Can't you take the response back and we just stay there and go home? No. The king asked me to bring you back. He wants to let you become part of his army. If you survive, that is. I don't think that we were born to be fighters. Or born ought to be fighters. We're just regular people trying to survive. The king hopes you'll change your mind. I don't. However, you regular people held your own against members of the elite guard. Perhaps you were born to be fighters. We'll think about it on the way. Let's just go and get this over with so we can all get back home. So then it goes into the view of the party and all that stuff. And... So that's the castle. I haven't really done much with it yet. Uh, it is an area later on. Um, the thing on the right is the mansion, and it's one of the main side quest areas. Uh, I can't do anything much there yet. I don't think I've even programmed it in yet. Um, but it is important later. And this is the store. That fine artwork of a shopkeeper. Welcome, Richard. These must be the ruffians who tried to steal from the Nobel Mines. I heard from Leon that you might be coming to get supplies from my shop. Feel free to browse. No discounts, sorry. So then we get the shopkeeper. I'm going to sell off the small stick and the crude axe. They're worth a grand fortune here. So I have a good amount of money, but, but as you can see, the weapons and stuff are not cheap. So I'll go over what each of the items, um, what their primary features are now. Um, knuckles are, they're fairly weak, but they have high speed, which means they have a good chance of comboing, a uh, good chance of counterattacks, and speed is also helpful for defense. Um, so they, they do have a lot of benefits, um, but they aren't really useful to this party yet. I think Richard's weapons are the two-handed sword and spears? No, that doesn't sound right. Two-handed sword and axes. So no one really uses the knuckles well, right? Uh, knives, they're fairly weak weapons um, in terms of strength, a little bit stronger than fists, and they also give a speed boost, but a little bit less. So they're a little bit more balanced with speed. Like, fists are focused on speed more than attack. Most other weapons are attack more than speed, and knives are kind of the balance of both. Uh, slingshot is a bow-type weapon. Bows give a bonus both to attack and defense. 
So, uh, but it's, they aren't that powerful. So uh, you lose, you know, a lot of the damage potential that you'd have, but they also make you very hard to damage. Walking um, staffs obviously increase magic more than attack. Um, short sword, uh, the one-handed swords are lower attack, but you can use a shield. Um, and sometimes they'll have other benefits. The sword is actually the first weapon to... One-handed swords are the first weapons to have an enchant slot, and I will get into those once we get there in the next town. Um, the woodsman's axe, which I will buy one of for Daniel. Um, axes are much more powerful. Um, axes and uh, the two-handed swords are about the same... Um, can't really remember where the main difference comes in with them, um, but they're both two-handed weapons. There aren't many. Uh, I think the only one-handed weapons are the knives, the one-handed swords, and maybe knuckles. I can't remember. Um, and two-handed swords are the main weapons that Richard will use. Um, then spears are super high attack, but they don't give you much of any other benefit, um, and they almost never will have enchant slots, which come into play later, as I said. Uh, then we have a shield, uh, upgrades to armor. Um, since speed is very important, um, getting items that give speed is very, very useful. Okay, so let's get a few caps, and a leather armor for somebody, and the wooden shield. Now I'm out of money. Start going over equipment so Lucent can use a shield. I'll give him the cap. Daniel will get the armor since he couldn't have the shield. I'll get the cap and the axe. Give him the cap, and he already has the leather armor. So we'll save again because it's good to save regularly. So I have the extra short sword that I don't need, and the simple shirt, and now I have a little bit more money. So I'll want that long sword eventually, it gives a nice boost to attack, and I want that. <laughs> All the things I want and can't have. Alright, so I will probably save my money for now. Oops, don't know what happened there. This will be the library. As I said, I haven't done this uh, part yet or worked with books, um, but that is where the first secret scene will be, and that is a fight between Daniel and Richard. And then this is the inn, but all my characters are at full health, so it's irrelevant. Let's see. So he needs a little bit more, and he'll be able to learn that. Actually, I think Richard might be able to learn his ability now. Yeah. Jeez, he starts out with a lot. Okay. I might tone that back a little bit. But anyways, so he gets his two-handed sword. Well, I'll show you what it can do. So right now, his strength is 34 with the weapon he has equipped. He'll learn this. And then, as you can see, the cost goes up a lot. So now it goes up to 35. So it's not a big change, but it's enough. It's noticeable. So yeah, um, here's one of the things I was lazy about, is um, making graphics for the city. Um, but that is a town. As I say, I, I really promise that is indeed a town. So we're going to do a little grinding here. Fight some of the new monsters. As you can see, the desert's down here. This area will be important later. There's supposed to be an entrance to that too, actually, because that is a late game level. See, as you can see, these guys are a little bit tougher. But I made sure that they weren't too tough because, um, because you you know you aren't guaranteed to have all the good equipment yet, 
So I wanted this to be, you know, kind of the middle ground area before the enemies start to get harder, really harder again. Um, so anyways, uh, as you can see, the art style for enemies has changed significantly because I started borrowing sprites. Um, that one that was dead, the ant, is from Earthbound. And that uh, bug there, that bee, is from Final Fantasy VI. And I can't remember for the life of me where the snake is from. But yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot of that. So yeah, I want to get up to like 400 or so gold. Or symbols, rather. takes a little while. I think I had in mind that the player spent a little bit more time fighting in those mines. Whoops, I didn't mean to go into the town. Actually, I did, because <laughs> I need to go to the inn here. Familiar sprite there. Ah, Richard, it's good to see you again. These must be the two Hellenians I heard about. Well, no matter what they've done, as long as they pay, they're welcome to stay. So that's a hundred symbols for a room, which is a little bit pricey. Oops. Now, I would rather like to go into the desert to fight the slightly more difficult enemies, but I would get wrecked. Um, I believe that spider is from Final Fantasy as well, but I don't 100% remember. Oops, sorry about that. That, that is a daddy long legs, apparently. 100%. Yeah, that text box up top still has a few issues. Um, yeah, as I was saying with the characters, uh, they were made using the Keras Sprite Maker which is a really, really nice tool, and I clearly... He is such low defense. Apparently I should have focused on the armor and not the shield. So yeah, this, this gorgeous city art with all my wonderful tile sets here. Leather armor. So yeah, now he might be able to survive. Yeah, he has more defense now than almost as much as Richard, and Richard's two levels higher. That's because Lucin also has a shield. Oh, and this is the difficult enemy for this area, although it's not too, too difficult. This is another reason why it was important to get that weapon for Lucent, because the items are a little bit expensive, and he would not have fared well fighting things with a small stick. Uh, enfeebled is lowered defense, which is kind of terrifying with how much damage these enemies are dealing right now. But everyone's going to level up, so I want to do that. Oops. Everyone's going to level up, so I want to do that. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, I'll do that next. 
But I have a windfall of money now, so I can actually prepare myself for this trip through the vast desert. Longsword for Lucent. Three pairs of sneakers. Couple of reviving items. Get that back up to 20. One more of those. All right. I should be ready for the challenges of the desert now. And that gives them defense and speed, so great boosts there. My phone is ringing again. I'm going to continue ignoring that. Oh. Let's sell off some of my crap. Boom. Go to the inn. I really wanted to get all these bugs out before. I got the worst of them out, at least. So it's mostly presentable. Alright, so now we are ready to go through the desert, minus a horse with no name. <laughs>